control the zone, it's a mentality. It's a mentality that you are controlling what is happening in the strike zone. And more than anything else, it's, it's allowing yourself to master the situation. You know, from a simplistic standpoint, it means that we appreciate the value of a walk on offense. Uh, we don't like striking out. And from a pitching standpoint, you know, we don't like walking people, and, and we do like striking people out. It's something that we've, we've tried to breed up and down the system. The Hitting Summit was born of the idea that we want our hitters to understand what matters most to us. So we brought them down to Peoria last January. And when we left, it was absolutely clear how we were going to coach hitting, how we were going to practice it, how we were going to measure our successes. What you're really trying to do is create clarity. And we put together a very clear message and we stayed on it. Try to understand what it's like to be a, a, an A-ball player and to come to a hitting summit in January and be working with big league players and Edgar Martinez and Scott Service. It sends that message very clearly that this is serious. We stayed on them all year long about making sure that this was a focal point. We talk about strike zone differential, you know, the, the, the equation that, that I talked about a year ago. What we want to do is take the positives, the pitcher's strikeouts and the hitter's walks. They count for A. And then we take the hitter's strikeouts and the pitcher's walks, a negative event. So we take the positive events and the negative events. We subtract one from the other and come up with a total. This year we were right in the thick. We were a positive team in controlling the, the zone. We were plus 76 at the major league level after a negative 66 in 2015. What you find is the teams that control the strike zone positively put themselves in position to compete for a playoff spot. We led all of baseball in, in that regard from a minor league standpoint. It's had an unbelievable impact in our minor league system in, in a really positive way. No matter how you break it down analytically, we did a much better job of getting a good pitch to hit and not swinging at balls. You know, and then from an offense, from a pitching standpoint of, of throwing the ball over the plate. And our coaches did a tremendous job of every single day throughout the entire season of bringing our guys back to what's important to us. We've lost three games in a row, or we won three games in a row, or tonight's for the championship. We never let that get in front of our process, which was controlling the strike zone. And when you dive into those numbers in our system and see what kind of the one-year progress that was made and then correlate that to the number of wins, I think it, it can kind of end the conversation, does controlling the zone impact winning and losing?